On this video I play the study of Friedrich Burgmüller twice, the first time at a rate of 84 beats per minute and the second time at a rate of 126 beats per minute. In this study, called The Return, the composer wrote down a quarter note with dot is 126. So you might believe that this is the right tempo, but this tempo is much too fast to play by children for whom Burgmüller wrote down this study and who want to learn to play the piano. Therefore, I believe that my first version with 84 beats per minute is the right one. I shall explain you why I think that. If you set your metronome at 126 beats per minute, the pendulum goes back and forth, tick tock, tick tock. One tick tock is one count. One back and forth of the metronome is one count. You hear two ticks, but these two ticks is only one count. It is back and forth. It's the same as a lot of players of wind and string instruments do while playing. They move a foot, mostly the right one, down and up. They do this to keep time. Down is tick and up is tock. But tick and tock together is only one count. So the movement of the metronome back and forth is also only one count. That is the way in which the composers of the 19th century, like Burgmüller, used their metronomes. And that is the way you must also read the metronome number of this study of Burgmüller. In this study, the return, we have a 6 8 meter. Here we must also divide the meter in two. The players of the wind and string instruments move their right foot like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, in a triple meter, we must play the piece at a speed of two-thirds of the indicated number. In this study, the return, two-thirds of 126 is 84. First I play this study at a rate of 84 beats per minute. In my opinion, the right tempo.
Now I play this piece at a rate of 126 beats per minute. It's rather fast, I think too fast for a young child who has to learn to play the piano.